What's up Blockheads? Today we are unboxing and doing a review on the Senna 10C Evo. Fun thing about this is it's got a built-in camera to it, so it's like a Bluetooth communicator, which is how we talk whenever we're uh, riding. And also, Senna sent me out another one to give away to you guys. So if you guys want to enter to possibly win this one, brand new in the box, you guys go check out this post on my Instagram. All you have to do is follow me, follow Senna, and then comment on the post and tag two of your friends. Easy stuff. I'll be randomly selecting a comment and giving one away. In today's video though, we're doing the unboxing. We're going to take a look at it, check it out, install it, and then go for a ride. I'm going to be riding with uh, Wes and Laurel. We're just going to do a quick ride and we're going to do some recording, check it out, and basically see how the quality is, how the sound quality is, how the recording quality is. Roll the intro and let's check it out. All right, the unboxing knife of the episode, Fox Mini Cow. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. If you want one of these, I'll drop the link down in the description below. But basically there is a uh, karambit that Fox makes that I have that's pretty badass. Well, this is the uh, mini, little mini ka, I think that's what they call it. Pretty cool little knife. Anyways, it's perfect for, um, you know, just carrying in your pocket whenever you don't want it to take up too much space because it's even got the belt clip. It's pretty cool. Let's open this thing up. C Evo. All right, so comes with the unit underneath all the rest of the stuff to install it. So you've got your chargers, all your user manuals, documents, stuff like that. Quick start bed. You've got all your hardware and stuff that comes with it. So this is basically everything that you'll be installing in your helmet. Let's uh, get all the stuff laid out here. All right, we got it all unpackaged. This is everything that I'm gonna be using here. And then I left this stuff in the uh, packaging just cause I'm not really gonna use most of this stuff. So we've got the uh, earpieces, got the earpiece covers, got the actual unit. We have the little button mic, and then this is uh, adhesive for that. We've got two mounts, which this is just your traditional normal mount. And it's uh, like a friction fastener, so it just fastens on there. There's no like button to click it on or off. I'm gonna go with this one because there's this little wheel that you can loosen. And you, actually, you can actually adjust the angle of it, which is pretty cool. Also, Laurel, Wes are hey. here. what's up? So uh, I'm gonna install this real quick on helmet and we'll go ride. This is our uh, Corona therapy. <laughs> yeah, unless somebody's like coughing out their window while we're driving by. Yeah, there's no way we can get it. We got gloves on, we're contained in a helmet. That's what my helmet's for. Yeah. Big ass motorcycle. How's the sound quality for you guys through this thing? It's, uh, it's pretty good on this side. Yeah. Um, I'd say it's probably the same as uh, 30K. Yeah, about the same. Yeah, cool. maybe just a hair better even. It might be my mic placement too, so in this one, I'm using that button mic, so it's basically fixed, real small, tight pickup pattern on these things. Ooh, it's bright. So bright. Oh, look at Laurel getting it. Oh, we get to get a shower on the way back. Yeah. All right. All right, so what's up, blockheads? Different view from this camera angle, from this camera angle. I guess we're gonna do like a nice little comparison between like the GoPro video footage and the uh, Senna, 10C Evo video footage. I hope I have it angled correctly. I really like the mount, how you can loosen it and then like kind of lock it down. So a cool thing that I like about this right off the bat is that it records other people. So you guys should be hearing Wes and Laurel here. 
uh, so we're all connected on the Senna, like the Bluetooth communicator side, but it records it to the video. I've had a number of people always ask me how to do that, so hey, here's a hack. If you want to do, if you want to do that and record other people that you're connected to and you vlog, buy a 10C Evo. It'll record all of it for you right there. It's actually really convenient. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the camera angle looks like. Yeah, me too. I'm excited to see like how it does outside in terms of like the color quality, like the color grading, the uh, like the handles of lighting, because like we're basically riding into the sun at some <laughs> points. And then, uh, you know, like here we're in the shadows, so I'm really interested to see like how it handles those different uh, environments in terms of quality. What did it say, Wes? It was like 2160 or something? Yeah, 2160, which is 2K. Yeah, so we're recording it like 2K. The cool thing is it saves like a high-res version and also saves a low-res version. I wonder how long it lasts. That'd be a good good oh, thing yeah. to kind of... I'll have to keep up with that. So this is basically like the first look, first time, first ride with it. Well, and it's uh, good to uh, find out you know, how long it can record at the 2160. Exactly, yeah. And I wonder what the maximum like SD card size that it takes is. I'll have to see if I can find all that info. Uh, if it's like a 128 or like a 256. Yeah, something. I think I've got a 64 in there right now. On a GoPro, that'll record for, you know, like, what, two or three hours or something? Yeah, I've got a 128, and I think I get it right around, like, five hours, yeah. so two and a half, probably. That's a long time. I can't believe it lasts that long. It's still crazy to me to think, like, whenever I, like, I remember starting college back in the day, and we had to have a USB drive, and, like, they had just come out with, like, the little USB thumb drives. Right. And I remember that thing being like over a hundred dollars and it like barely held anything. And it broke. <laughs> like it just stopped working I, one day. I have to pay. And now it's like you got this little tiny thin card and it's like one terabyte. It's just like, just Jesus. like a little pinky nail. Yeah. And it's like you can store your entire life on here. Yep. <laughs> it's like when I was in high school, I had bought one of those USB sticks. And it was a one gig, and I'm pretty sure it cost me like 75 bucks. And I was like, oh, I can hold so much on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> a whole gig. It's got everything. You're like, it can hold 10 songs. <laughs> yeah. Like back in the day, you know, like a 20 meg hard drive was like the size of a like coffee table. But you could still run like everything, like banking software and like, uh, you know, I think NASA was running all their like rocket telemetry. Uh, information off of those, but now it's like my phone has literally like 30,000 times more. Yeah, exactly. Like your phone has more technology, like my smartwatch has more technology than the lunar lander. But we still fill them up. I guess it's kind of like, uh, you know, people say that about having a house, like, oh, I need a bigger house, and then you just put more crap in it. Yeah, and exactly. Like, I get a bigger house, and you just fill it up with more crap. Like, oh, for sure. if you got the space, you'll fill it up with something. Oh, you guys want to stop at the, uh, the little ramp, the boat ramp? Oh, just tell me when it's coming, because I don't know. Raptor! Towards the end. I also kind of want to go down um, that, like, Apopka, or Lake Apopka Wilderness Trail. Where is it? It looks like it was paved, but there's only, like, one little sign. I don't know exactly where it is. Uh, it actually might be right here. What is the sign? Yeah. Oh, Wildlife Drive. You want to turn here, Laurel? Right. Did you see what it is? We exploring. Sorry. Oh, damn. We're s We're going Sorry. down Lust Road, guys. Shit. Whoa. You're gonna need to give us some privacy here. Right? I'll, I'll let y'all go on and get ahead of me. <laughs> I'll just look down. Yeah, I have no idea what's down here. I just saw it on the map and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't get like dirt road or something all out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, a ramp. Dude, I wonder if I can hit it fast enough to catch the air. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> God, I can't see There's shit. Sand in the middle up here? like a little pathway. Yeah, and there's like a gate. Closed. The wildlife drive is closed. Noted. wonder it's closed because of Corona. Yep. COVID-19, blah, blah, blah. Really? Yep. Everybody has their, their stock COVID response now. Closed precaution until further notice in response to concerns about the spread of the novel coronavirus, commonly referred to as COVID-19. Lessen the transmission of the virus. Open on weekends and federal holidays attracts thousands of visitors each month with more than 16,000 visitors in February alone. Everything's being affected by this COVID-19 thing. All right, I'll be careful. It's a little sandy. A little bit. 
<laughs> Can't even enjoy wildlife anymore because of COVID-19. <laughs> COVID? Oh yeah, since I'm going to go and get uh, my new tires put on tomorrow, I think we should go back to that construction area and uh, I try and figure out how to do a burnout. Just roast them? <laughs> yeah. Where am I going up here? To the right? Right. To the right, to the right. Oh wait. It's to the left. <laughs> Oh wait, wrong song. Beyonce remix. It's <laughs> a good silhouette. <laughs> Fished in the wind. Riding through this world. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch uh, Sons of Anarchy? No, I've I been told by many a woman I to watched, watch it. However. I watched a bunch of it, but not... Yeah, I watched a bunch of it. I think I only missed like the... Uh, maybe. You only yeah. missed what? Like the last season. Oh yeah. Dude, that's where... <laughs> That's where it all comes to a freaking end. Like, you gotta watch the last season. Yeah, I need to, I'd have to probably go back and watch some more anyway, just to like catch myself back up. Yeah. So I'd be like, who's this guy? Who's this guy? Just, it, it's a soap opera with like motorcycles. Like, it's, yeah. a, it's a biker soap opera. Ooh, which yeah. reminds me, I should catch up on Mayans, which was like the spinoff of it. You. A lot of people come here to watch the sunset. It's a good spot. I'll let you lovebirds get to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's been the uh, test video for the uh, Senna 10C Evo. Audio quality sounds good. I mean, I can hear you guys great. Okay, good. And uh, video quality, I mean, we'll compare it, like I said, to the GoPro. Oh, you gotta, you gotta take a picture of your bike here, yo. For sure. All right, well, you watchers this is weird i have to point over here now instead of like pointing here so all you watchers all you subscribers and people that have watched the video let me know what you think about the quality the video quality and the audio quality and all that if you guys have any questions be sure to drop them down in the comments below wes will answer them to the best of his knowledge <laughs> sure <laughs> yeah oh, okay thank you guys for being part of my test first test on the 10c evo thanks for getting me out of the house and uh, if you guys want to possibly win one, like I said, go to that post on Instagram. I will link it down below. I'll post it right here. I'm giving it away on the 27th, which is about a week from me recording this. But teamed up with Santa, and we're giving one away. So it's like 400 bucks for free. For free. All you got to do, follow me on Instagram, follow Senna, comment on the post, and tag to your friends. Easy peasy. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you on the next one. Deuces. <laughs> oh, deuces.